Welcome to Kotlin Bytes. In my last episode, I showed you how to complete the AI player for our Android tic-tac-toe game. In this episode, I will show you how to tidy up the app with a few refinements, such as dark mode and to create an app icon. Let's get started. Let's begin with supporting dark mode. First, open up your themes file. If you don't have a themes file, it might be in styles. If your app theme is in styles, you'll want to move it to a themes XML. Notice that my parent theme is material components day night. You don't need to use this. However, it will automatically theme many of the built-in components for you. Notice how we have two theme files, one for day mode and one for night mode. Our default mode is day. We can define different colors and values for each modes. You can simulate each mode in the editor here. Notice how our UI doesn't quite look right. We need to invert our icons in dark mode. One way to fix this is to add a color attribute for our icons. Note there are many ways to accomplish this. However, I will duplicate the icons. Copy and paste in the directory. When you paste, change the path and include the drawable hyphen night. This will force our icon copy to appear only during dark mode. Change the color to white. You'll notice that it then updates immediately in our layout and changes between our two icons depending on the mode. Now do the same to the remaining two icons. For the grid lines, I will change the background to a list divider color. Then I'll update these values in the theme file. There we go. Now let's create our icon. Add an image asset. The wizard is fairly simple and easy to use. I'm going to create a simple app icon with a star as the logo. Then I'll change the background to be this purple color. Of course, you can design the icon in another program and import it here. However, it's nice that you can create a basic icon directly within Android Studio. Once you save, Android Studio will replace most of the default icons. However, some remain and I'll be deleting these remaining default icons just so we only have our one unique icon. Now let's test. Ah, it looks like we need to clean our project first. Go to build, clean, then rerun the app. There we go, our app with a finished icon. Congrats. That is it for this Android Tic-Tac-Toe series. Much more can be done and there are many more improvements that you can make. I'll leave it to you to make it better. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and consider subscribing. The source code and additional resources are, of course, in the description below. If there's anything else you'd like me to explain in a later video, please send me a message or leave a comment. Otherwise, have a great day. See you guys.